Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome. Um, and uh, we'll go through uh, what Bookmap is displaying and, and some of the basics and uh, answer all of your questions regarding uh, uh, the different uh, features and components in uh, Bookmap. And then we'll uh, take a look at a, a little bit of the order flow, just some of the basics. Uh, uh, so uh, let's start off with the risk disclaimer. Uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Let's go to bookmap.com and find out more information about it. Now you get a 14-day free trial period uh, with Bookmap. Uh, it's basically uh, it's risk-free, so uh, uh, you, you know you, you get a full, fully featured uh, Bookmap as well as access to all our resources. One of the resources is the Advanced Order Flow webinar. It starts at 11 Eastern, so in about uh, 28 minutes. Uh, and uh, uh, there we uh, uh, don't really answer many questions about the platform or the components. Uh, we really dig into the order flow, understand what's going on in the live markets, and anticipate future price movement. Okay, so uh, we're really integrating and learning order flow uh, within our own trading methodology. Okay, whatever it is that uh, uh, you might be trading, uh, the key here is to start to understand what's going on in the order flow at those specific areas uh, to um, uh, allow for a much higher probability. Uh, trade. Okay. All right. So uh, let's take a look here at Bookmap. Uh, this is where you can find it. Okay. Here's the home page. Let's click on Explore. Uh, there's an intro video here, uh, and then you can uh, scroll through uh, all the different uh, features about the platform here. Benefits, uh, testimonials. Uh, you can see that uh, we connect also to uh, Nasdaq Total View. So we have uh, equities here in Bookmap, uh, and then. Um, a bit further down, uh, connectivity. Uh, you will need to connect Bookmap uh, to the live markets using one of these data providers or uh, brokers, and um, uh, that's uh, important. Uh, we're not a data provider. Okay, we are a uh, trading platform. All right, so uh, you will need this uh, to connect to the futures market, uh, or you can use this Dev Experts and uh, Nasdaq here, Total View, uh, to connect to uh, to U.S. equities. Okay. Uh, here's where you find the 14-day trial period. It's uh, underneath the uh, uh, free trial here. And uh, there is really only one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. It's 49 per month. It's billed quarterly. Uh, and then there's the advanced features um, or add-ons, I should say. And uh, uh, this is 99 per month and it's billed quarterly. All right. And uh, what you get with this uh, is the Bookmap Basic, but the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart, okay? And this is a, a real nice advantage because you can see the liquidity heat map there uh, and you can start to place your orders uh, and optimize your uh, entries and exits and your trade management because you have the liquidity there in front of you. You understand where to put your orders and uh, that's gonna allow for higher probability trading. Okay, we also have uh, our own proprietary indicators that we have developed that look, looks for exclusive or distinct um, uh, uh, advantages in the uh, order flow. For example, looking at the large lot tracker, uh, we're uh, able to understand uh, the way that the orders hit the book that uh, we might find uh, a larger player at a specific area. We wanna know who these players are. Uh, we also can see imbalances in the volume as well as the order book. Uh, we also have iceberg detector when uh, uh, the um, price is starting to hit an iceberg to understand uh, where larger players are getting filled and absorbing uh, without uh, showing their uh, uh, limit orders in the order book and a correlation tracker and some other details as well. Uh, quants can reach out to us here. Uh, if you want to learn more and connect your own data feeds, etc. All right. Okay. Well, let's jump into Bookmap and uh, let's take a look here. Um, okay. So I have some limited data here. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. We've been looking at the NASDAQ and yesterday we actually looked at the S&P. It was nice to, to kind of return back to the S&P. Um, and uh, all right. So this is the Bookmap chart. Now, this may look like uh, there's a lot going on here. It's actually really pretty simple. 
uh, and we're gonna I'm gonna uh, close this indicator panel here because bookmap isn't an indicator uh, we offer some indicators for uh, our data our visualization of the market uh, but we're not a derivative of time price or volume we're actually a very uh, objective view of the marketplace so what's being shown here on this uh, chart okay let's zoom in a little bit more here okay what are we showing all right we're showing just basically three items historical best bid and offer okay uh, and uh, the uh, dots here these are trades okay so we're showing the trade activity on the historical best bid and offer uh, and then we're also showing the limit order book now the limit order book is over here in this cob column okay the current order book so this is your dome and book map all right let's zoom in a little bit more and you can see it right here okay this is this is uh, your depth of market uh, and um, now this uh, heat map that you see here is just a graphical representation of this uh, of this limit order book okay the uh, the dome and uh, what you're seeing to the left of this vertical uh, white line here is the historical view of the dome okay so we've recorded all this data and that's that's all that's you know it's it's nothing complex here it's just the the uh, historical view of the dome where were they offering and where were they bidding and this offers tremendous clarity and insight to the market. Uh, you can see, look at this wall of liquidity between 61 and 62 right now. Okay. All right. So any questions? Um, uh, there are so many different features and functionality here uh, to go through. Uh, you know, we also offer uh, up here, there's automated trading strategies. There's an API. Uh, if you're a programmer, uh, you can program your own automated trading strategies and indicators. Uh, there are uh, uh, many other uh, features and components here. Uh, the ability to trade from the chart, uh, and um, uh, we have all these different studies uh, from the studies configuration here uh, that you can see. And uh, I won't get into the details here, but I just want to show some of the uh, user interface, uh, and um, uh, we can look at volume in, in so many different ways here. Uh, and uh, it's really, really up to you. It's uh, very, very configurable. Okay, the columns data over here. We're looking at some uh, volume columns, and uh, we can also we can right-click in these columns here, and you can see all the different data types that we can we uh, uh, can offer. Current order book. We have volume. We have a trades counter. Okay, so you can look at the uh, number of uh, trade events instead of the actual volume, or both. If you want to open up another column, you can do that by inserting a column here. Okay, trades counter, a quotes counter, a number of quotes refreshed, uh, quotes delta, quotes that were uh, added or pulled, liquidity or added or pulled. Okay, we have a notes column, a custom notes and cloud notes, and a time and sales column as well. All right, so uh, all sorts of different features uh, and components, and um, you can see that we have two columns here. Uh, in fact, we have the uh, chart range column, and a session range column. So when I opened up Bookmap, I started collecting this uh, volume column here. And then if I zoom in, you can see that the chart range volume profile is giving me the uh, uh, profile, the volume profile here of this viewable chart range. Okay. So uh, all sorts of different data here uh, and configurations. But in general, very, very simple chart, very objective, and as is just trying to show you uh, historical best bid and offer, the traded volume, uh, and the um, limit order book, but the historical view and the current view here. Okay, so to uh, further uh, uh, display this or go through the uh, some of the features here, I'm going to uh, just turn on, we have options here for candlesticks uh, to see on the chart and see how uh, uh, price is relating uh, to that candlestick within uh, that period. And... Um, uh, we're going to turn off some of the other data here and we're just going to look at this candlestick chart and i'm going to quickly uh, demo this here for you all right okay so here's our candlestick chart five minute candlestick chart okay we can see that uh, price moved down it kind of bottomed out down here and we see buyers stepped in all right uh, and we see the move to the upside okay so we all know candlestick is showing open high low close of this five minute period problem is that uh, there's all sorts of data that happened or that occurred down here or or trade activity that occurred down here 
uh, that we're we're missing. It's all opaque. We have no clue of what happened within this five minute period. Uh, for example, there's going to be some microstructural uh, price activity down here. Uh, we're going to see a break of that structure, uh, and then we're going to see that buyer stepped in here. Okay, it's all going to be within this area here. And uh, I'm going to turn on the historical best bid and offer, and we're going to see the microstructure just, just with showing historical best bid and offer. This is what occurred. Okay, here's the breakdown. Here's the sideways action. And here's the break out of that area. Okay, we don't get any of that data here by looking at this candlestick chart. Okay, this microstructure right here is giving us the, uh, uh, the insight uh, to where uh, we broke the structure here. Uh, all of the all of this is going to be trapped uh, volume down here, and you can see we're going to see um, a buyer step in, and they're going to lift the offer up into these areas. Okay, so just with the historical best bid and offer alone, we already have a lot more data. We can also see how we're in this microstructure okay, that you don't see here in the candlestick. Look how we're making the uh, slightly higher lows here. Okay, uh, and um, and then finally, we get uh, uh, the buyers uh, stepping in and pulling price up in this area here. This is key. It's, it's key to understand what's going on here. This is the kind of insight we want uh, and transparency in the market. So let's turn on the volume dots, okay? And um, let's uh, actually bring down the volume dot size a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. Um, all right, so it's a, this is a nice little change in the order flow. Uh, and uh, interesting change here. Usually, uh, you know, I mean, we do see the cluster of uh, aggressive volume up here, uh, pulling the price up. Uh, but um, uh, let's, let's zoom into this area here just a little bit. We can click on this move tool and zoom in. Okay. And um, all right, well, uh, look at all the selling here. Now, uh, what bookmap is showing in the volume dot here is the aggressor, the aggressor classification of volume. And what we mean by that is market buys and market sells. Okay, the um, uh, the aggressor is the one that uh, wants to uh, uh, cross the spread. They want into the market. They're willing to pay up uh, and uh, get involved immediately. All right. So we see the selling that came down here. And the, this is where we see a little bit of the uh, a nice little change in the order flow. It's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, uh, look at the buying that stepped in here. OK, pretty aggressive uh, on the buy side. Uh, we see the uh, dots here. Now I'll zoom into this dot here and I'll show you exactly uh, what occurred here. Note how as I zoom in, I'm pulling apart that that timeline and I'm showing you every single trade event here that took place. Okay. In fact, we have a little bit of latency between the traded volume and the um, uh, best bid and offer that came through here. Okay, the best offers uh, it's a little bit behind here, as you can see. Right, they come in via different protocol, uh, and um, and that's that's just part of the uh, the game in the high frequency environment. All right, so. Um, Anyway, we'll zoom in here a little bit further, and here's our historical best offer and our historical best bid. We can see the spread widened out uh, a few ticks here, uh, and then it uh, narrowed back to one tick wide. Uh, here are the dots, okay? The uh, the trade activity, the, the aggressor. Uh, a green dot uh, is a market buy, okay? They took liquidity off of the best offer. Market sell is a red dot. You can look at the uh, the details here. If we hover over it, we get the date, the time, what was on the ask here, the liquidity, okay, was four, uh, and then we see this for a volume of two, okay, and this sell here was for a volume of one. All right, so we have all of this data here. It's all uh, it, down to the uh, a microsecond or a nanosecond. We can continue to zoom into areas and see exactly what occurred. Uh, and uh, it's all, all of these trade events are recorded. Okay, it's pretty powerful uh, uh, data, and, and uh, you know you can see it on a uh, on a very very low time frame uh, to see exactly where you're getting filled. Uh, and um, or you can start to zoom out, and you can see that as I compress that timeline together, we're giving you the overall shape of that volume here. Okay, so this pie chart, what is displaying here? Uh, it shows a volume of 463, and uh, about two-thirds of that was aggressive buying. 
Okay? And another third was aggressive selling. All right? So now we can see microstructure, uh, and we can also see the um, uh, where the volume traded uh, within that structure. Okay, and that's giving us the insight here. Now, even a footprint chart is not going to give you that microstructure. You're not going to be able to see it. Uh, it's uh, uh, because it'll just aggregate just like this candle did right here. It's aggregating all of this data, all of this trade data, all of all of this information right here between these two candles is consolidated and aggregated here with this open high low close of this candle. That's it. That's all you're getting with this candlestick. But we're we're understanding now that um, uh, we we see the aggressive selling coming in, we see aggressive buying, and we see a, a, a potential change in the order flow occurring right here. Okay, we get a retest of that area here all within this five minute period. And look at the volume that traded down here, okay? I mean, there's a little bit of selling, uh, but it's not like the selling that we saw previously, okay? We're getting a reversal in the order flow, okay? We're getting reversal in the volume. It's turning from the aggressor seller to the aggressor buyer, okay? We see uh, a little bit more, uh, this is, a, it's an interesting little uh, uh, triple bottom here or, or quadruple bottom. Uh, to see because uh, uh, usually uh, you um, we don't we don't see the aggressor come in so early, uh, but um, uh, on the buy side, uh, and uh, so we get the retest here. We get another retest here. Uh, more a little bit more buying steps in, <laughs> selling steps in again here. They're just not able to pull it back down. Uh, they they dry up in this area at uh, 6036. Uh, we even see some retests of that little area here, and then the buyer step in yet again. This is where the order flow, now we have some insight here, okay? So we're looking for pullbacks and we're looking for the um, uh, uh, the buyers to step in, okay? Took a little while here, okay? A couple of retests back and forth and back and forth. Uh, and um, and then finally, uh, we see the uh, the breakout here, okay? And uh, as to be honest, uh, I was uh, looking for a little more aggressive volume to trade up into this area here, uh, bigger green dots, probably right in this area here and we'd actually don't get it uh, until over over here on this side all right okay so anyway uh, that's uh, what bookmap is displaying uh, that's the insight that is getting you and we're we've just looked at volume okay and uh, and that's basically it historical best bid and offer and volume and we're gonna already see quite quite a uh, quite a bit of uh, detail here Okay. Now, this is the kind of analysis we do in the live uh, uh, advanced order flow uh, and understand uh, what this price activity signifies. And we start to then anticipate when we see this change in the order flow, anticipate the move to the upside. Okay. Uh, and then we continue just to read it. Uh, and um, uh, in, uh, let's see, this area here. Uh, well, now let's go to current price now. Uh, so I'll click off the uh, move tool and uh, zoom out a little bit All right so this is one side of the order flow is just the traded volume and that's the side we're mostly uh, uh, accustomed to okay uh, there's a whole nother side here that really makes a difference though and that we get from the limit order book okay the dome we want to see like for example look at this area here at 65 and three quarters 247 contracts okay that's quite a bit of liquidity on the sell side Okay. We want to know that. We want to know, and we want to know how these how these players up here, how they're performing or behaving. Okay, are they adding? Are they pulling? How long have they been here? Um, all of that kind of uh, information we don't we don't know that. Uh, uh, once this number changes, uh, then that data is lost. Okay, so uh, that's a problem with the dome. Okay, because we don't have that transparency. It's completely opaque. I mean, literally. I mean, we don't even see the, the action here. Okay, and uh, if I turn on the heat map, though, you can see how Bookmap solves that issue. Okay, here's the record of that liquidity. Now we know uh, this is these are larger players. They've been in this market a long time. It looks like they have the intent to trade up here between uh, 65 and, and 66. Okay. Now we'll we'll get our answer once we come up a little higher. But they've been waiting patiently in line to get filled at this area. Now, as price has been coming up, look how 
other players have been jumping up in front of their large liquidity. So some of these players are starting to front run that large liquidity here uh, that we see at this uh, 65 and three quarters. Okay, now they're starting to pull uh, as price is coming up this time, this one more rotation here. Looks like we're gonna come in and test this area here at 66. Okay, and here we come. They're already charging up there. All right, uh, and um, so uh, now we're getting an understanding of the offer and on the bid too. Look at this area here at 60, 110 contracts. Okay, so buyers are actually uh, are getting, I mean, they're, not, they're not too aggressive, but they are bidding up at a higher level. Okay, whereas they were previously down here, now they're bidding up here. Okay, and we're starting to trend upwards. All right, and we're understanding the auction in con context to the, um, uh, the price action and the transactions. Okay, the structure and the, and the transactions. All right, so uh, uh, that's the uh, the kind of transparency uh, that uh, uh, you can visualize or that Bookmap visualizes for you, and that's going to allow you to uh, uh, to make these more informed uh, uh, trading decisions. All right, so um, uh, yeah, we're uh, just channeling now between these areas of high liquidity, and uh, that's the current current state of the market right now. Okay. We saw, look at this uh, failed auction breakout to the upside. Uh, looked like we were gonna test the 66 area here, and we may. I mean, it might. we might get another rotation down, uh, and then we might get uh, this one more rotation back up because we see more volume starting to trade up here, right? Uh, look how we just exhausted out on the sell side here. So let's see if buyers now step in, okay? Let's see if we get the uh, the aggressor, the, uh, the that bind to uh, uh, lift, the, um, lift the offer, uh, trade up into this area here, uh, and uh, and and then maybe a, a price, little bit of price discovery, a little a little bit higher here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. If uh, no no questions on uh, on the software, and uh, for those of you who uh, are in trial or current customers, uh, we'll see you over in the uh, advanced webinar in five minutes. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.